10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Forty seconds into the mission and our twenty-fourth electron is lifted off from Pad B at Rocket Lab Launch Complex One. The beauty of launching in the morning means we had a clear daytime view of Electron powering its way to space for Synspective, but before it gets there, Electron will pass through a critical point in the mission to clear max Q. This is the moment where there is maximum aerodynamic pressure working against the vehicle, hence max Q causing the most amount of stress the rocket will experience during its climb. Let's listen in for the call. Oh, so we just heard it there. We have cleared that gate. That's what we wanted to hear. Electron's nine Rutherford engines are firing well, and the mission remains on its correct trajectory to space. Now, we will run through three actions that will happen quickly, one after the other. First, all of the Rutherford engines will throttle down before shutting off completely. That is main engine cutoff, or MECO. A couple of seconds later, we'll have separation of the first and second stages, followed quickly by the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage, lighting up and continuing the mission to Earth orbit. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal, preparing for MECO in roughly 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Stage separation successful. Stage ignition. There we go, we heard it and saw it for ourselves. Electron has had a successful MECO stage separation and ignition of its second stage engine. We're coming up on fairing deploy shortly as well. We'll see Electron's nose cones separate and fall away to clear the way for this inspective satellite. So let's keep an eye out for that one. Fairing jettison succeeded. There you go, you saw the electron fairing falling away as planned. The rocket's second stage is continuing nominally with its inspective payload to orbit. The vehicle is currently at an altitude of 130 kilometres and reaching speeds of more than 8,700 8, kilometres per hour. <laughs> 